Did you know that 1 in 10 women have polycystic ovarian syndrome, otherwise known as PCOS? Say what? But this is likely even an underestimated number given many patients live with it their entire lives without ever being diagnosed. Could you have it and not know it? I'll review the signs and symptoms of PCOS in today's video. Thanks to one of my subscribers, Josie Monique, for the great topic suggestion. Now what's up healthy people? I'm Dr. Med. And Make sure to subscribe for weekly useful and actionable health tips to help care for you and your family in two minutes or less. First of all, even though many PCOS patients have cysts on their ovaries, it's not the defining feature of the syndrome. Hmm. And many people have ovarian cysts who don't have PCOS. In order to help diagnose PCOS, there are often blood tests that are done, but Many PCOS patients will have completely normal labs. Wow! Yes, people with PCOS often have anywhere between one or all of the symptoms, and not everyone will be the same. Here we go. Number one. Acne. Patients that have PCOS have higher circulating testosterone levels, and this often feeds the skin pores and produces acne. Number two. Hirsutism, which is a fancy medical term used to describe excess hair on the body. This elevated testosterone level can also create hair growth in unwanted places, such as on the face, the chest, stomach, hands, feet. It's a very frustrating facet of PCOS. These patients with severe hirsutism tend to really struggle emotionally. Number three. Central obesity. Another cause for diminished self-image is the tendency to carry the excess weight in the midsection, like stomach, hips, and buttocks. PCOS patients tend to gain weight quite rapidly, and they have a more of a difficult time losing the weight that they gain. Number four, prediabetes, diabetes risk. If you dig around, you'll notice that most PCOS patients have a family history of diabetes. Therefore, make sure that you're tested for diabetes throughout time. Number five, almost every patient with PCOS struggles with some type of period issue at some point or another. The periods may be particularly heavy, or they may occur unpredictably, or they may last longer than usual. And sometimes there are even missed periods, and occasionally there are women who simply do not bleed at all, a term that we call amenorrhea. Perhaps one of the most disturbing complications from untreated PCOS is the tendency to struggle with fertility, since they tend to ovulate less frequently than other people. But it's still very possible, especially with weight loss as your main goal, along with some of the other tips that I mentioned in my prior video up here. You can check it out, and I'll place a link to it down below. As last resort, infertility treatment for PCOS is quite effective. Stay tuned next week where I'll review the top non-prescription treatment options for PCOS. Now if you've ever been diagnosed with PCOS or suspect that you may have it, what is the one most frustrating symptom that you've experienced? Share it with us in the comments down below. If you found the information here useful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and share it with someone else who may find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe! And if you have any topic suggestions, I would love to hear from you. Well, thanks for tuning in. Stay healthy, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.